Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Today I am going to be working on the Deck of Cards collab by Sweet Bee Paper Co. And I'm working on week 12. I'm a week behind. So week 12 is mail and heart. That's the prompts. I'm sorry, my car, my phone just did that. If you didn't hear me, it's mail and hearts. So I think this is going to be fun. I use these jumbo cards. They are four and a half by seven. You'd think I would remember by week 12, but I don't. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cover my card with this um, paper. It is from a very old paper pad that I do not have the cover for anymore. It <laughs> Telling you this paper, <laughs> I have the back. It's DCWV, and um, it's old. I've had it forever, and I have used and used and used this paper pad. It kind of has a little bit of everything, and even though I've used it and used it, there's all kinds of paper in it. But I love it. I loved the florals in this. I've I've used about all the ones that I absolutely love. They look like wallpaper. A lot of them. And so I pulled this one out. I thought it would be pretty for what I kind of have in mind. So I've been so busy. I haven't been online. I don't know what anybody's done. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. I'm, I have this idea and I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm way out there or not. Who knows? I probably am, but my glue doesn't want to work. I've used a lot of it today. I've been at the local art center most of the day, and I made I made something. I ought to show you all. I ought to go grab it and show you. It's right on my kitchen table, right beside me. I will grab it and show you because it's so pretty. completely finished but because I don't know what all I want to do but here it is let me zoom you out a little bit I made mine so that it hangs on the wall straight up and down so this is my mom here and here and my mom is here and my mom is here so I'll show it up to you a little bit up close. I learned how to do the paper folding and then we decorated it today. I've got these that I'm going to stick in here somewhere. Somewhere it's going to go. Once I get it hung up on the wall where I'm going to hang it up, these are going to go in here. But I have a feeling I'm going to put them in like this way instead of this way. And I've got this little butterfly that is going to go, this D, D is for their last name, her maiden name. And this is my grandma, and my grandpa, and my aunts, and my uncles. They were twins. They are twins. They're, all all that's left is the twins and my mom. My aunts are gone, and my grandparents are gone. But anyway, this is what I did. This is what I learned in the class, and it was sure fun. It was lots of fun. So I've got a little dangle that when it's hanging up and down, you can't see that, when it's hanging up and down, this dangle. I can't figure out how to show you that, but there's a dang. I have a dangle that's going to be dangling when it's hanging. So that was fun. That's what I did in class. I've been at the art center most of the day. And it sure was fun. So anyway, now I'm trying to get this done. i got to get caught up. My husband has had so many appointments. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, back to this and see if this glue. But tell me if you've done those things and did you enjoy them? I want to do more. Um, lady that owns the art center 
she had one on display. Hers was one that sets on your desk. So it's like bit in half and it sets on your desk. Hers was out of a giant dictionary and oh, I loved it. But I just don't have anywhere to set. I can't set anything on my desk. My goodness. <laughs> I don't have room for that. And I can't think of anywhere in my house where I have room for that. But that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Okay. Wipe that tip off. I don't know what to do about this glue, y'all. I just don't know what to do. It just keeps getting like it needs burped. About did an awesome joke there, but mm, you might not all appreciate that. <laughs> Tell I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> First came home with that thing, and I was like, oh. I tell you what happened to us. Oh my goodness. We were coming home yesterday. His doctor appointment was an hour away yesterday. Um, my stepdad bought us a thing that hooks to the hitch on the truck and it sticks out just a little bit and it um, carries our wheelchair, not the power chair, just the manual wheelchair. We don't have a way to do the power chair and we didn't want anything that did the power chair because um, that we don't own it the power chair is on loan to us and um, I did not want to be responsible for that power chair you know that thing sticking way back way out you know getting something that carried that and what if I wrecked it? What if somebody hit us? What you know? There's so many what ifs with that thing. I I just didn't want to be. I'm not very good at backing with something behind me. I can't. I cannot get that whole motion of how you do that. I've never been able to. My husband used to try to get me to learn how to back the semi, and mm, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get that whole thing. I couldn't even get like one sitting on the lawnmower and there's a, you know, like the, what you call it, behind, you know, like the thing to collect stuff in. I can't even get that. <laughs> I just can't, I can't get that whole motion of how you turn the wheel to get the thing to go right. I try to do it wrong. If I want it to go right, it's going left. <laughs> So I did not want to be responsible for that. So he got this little thing that's just on the back of the truck and it holds the other one and I'll push him. We don't need the power one. Well, we had an hour drive up and an hour drive back. Did fine on the drive home. Or the drive up. The drive home, I went to get the wheelchair and there was no wheelchair. It was gone. Oh no. I just. Guys. I didn't know what to do but besides pray. I just didn't know what to do. We immediately turned around and we drove looking for it. Couldn't find it. We called the county police here in our county and the county police in the county where we went to the doctor. Both county police went, drove, drove. They sent somebody to drive the route looking. Neither could find it. All in our local swap shop, I put a post of what happened and that, that brought our wheelchair home um, around 9.30 that night. I got a private message and it was one of the local state officers. We tried to call the state, but um, all we could do was leave a message because they pretty well shut down our um, office here. 
you know, state funding. And all we could do was leave a message and we never got a return message. But um, I'm going to do something different with the brown. You guys are probably shocked. But um, one of the state officer's wife um, saw my post and she said, call my husband. And she gave the number. We called him and he said, we have a wheelchair that was found on your route home. Um, you can go by the um, police station there outside of town tomorrow and get it. He said, just call and make sure somebody's there because there's often not anybody there now. And so I was at the art center all day. My husband went and got it. We didn't know what kind of shape it was going to be in. But you guys, on one side it just had a few scratches on one of the handles and one of the wheels. And that's it. Still looks brand new. <laughs> and very usable. There was a note with it. A gentleman found it. And um, turned it in. He said, if no one claims this wheelchair, I would like to have it. But I brought it in in case somebody is missing this and looking for it. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, my husband's tried to call him. You know, to tell him thank you so much, and to tell him yes, we we've been out driving looking for it, and that we needed it very much. But we were freaking out because we didn't know what we were going to do without it. Because he's starting therapy, and I have to have that to get him to therapy, and you know we can't go to church without it, and there's a lot of things we cannot do without it. So. Because I, we can't take the electric chair with us. And, well, we're supposed to go pick up our granddaughter Sunday. <laughs> and he, we couldn't go without that thing. I was just, just like, oh, no. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do. Oh, well, I don't know. No, wait, I'm going to step ahead of myself. I have this stamp. This is by um, Hip Stamp Hooray. Um, it's an American Crafts. There's the World Map Stamp Set. There it is. And I think I will stamp this in black. I should have found my stamp. I'm sorry. Or my ink. But I just found it. It didn't take me too terribly long. I'm using this clearly better. I want to stamp the world all on here, and I hope it works. I should have got my, um, what you call it out. I didn't even think about doing that. I think I'm going to do that, you guys. Oh, should I? Oh, dear. It's going to take me a minute longer, but... Oh, oh, well, I won't get it out. Let's just do this. I don't know why I have that thing. I hardly ever use it. Um, let's see. I don't want it quite straight. Where's my thing? There it is. This is one time I'd like it to look decent. Well, that's okay. I'd like to come down here and add to it down here if I can. Continue it. loud sorry okay that's not bad not bad at all I don't know 
know where my oh well, there it is. It's it, no, that's not it. I found a blue one that looks a little bit better than this one. But. Oh well. Oh, I need to move you back in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. I'll clean that better later. I'm just going to set it over here to the side. Okay, now what I want to do is make an envelope. So, um, I have picked out my size and I need to cut my paper to six and a half. And we're going to use this paper. Pick that up. I don't need that. Oh, I can't reach it. I barely reached it to get it. Let's cut this to six and a half. I know you can barely see, but I have got my tape full. directions. So I follow step one through seven of the envelope. Well that's nice because I uh, put those back here. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. One through seven of the envelope. My friend gave this to me, but the little booklet was not readable, so I went online and I printed a booklet. Okay, so one through seven, score the envelope on the A. So, okay, so we basically make an envelope. Okay, I can do that. Okay. So, on this one, our punch guide is two. Two and three quarter. Uh -oh, two and three quarter. And I like this so much better than my original um, one. Except for I cannot see where that went. I can't see my... I think it's right there. Is it right there? I can't see it. <laughs> oh, I did that way too hard. I'm trying to see it. This paper. It's not punching very well either. It's this paper. Okay. So, we are done with this. Oops, where's that extra little... So, oops, I gotta... No, we're not. I've got to do this. playing nice with it. I've never had problems with it until I used this paper. Okay, I want to Oops. cut this little bit out right here. Warm lipstick. 
Does that work? Let's try it. I'm feeling like doing something different. That's working. That looks pretty. I just realized I didn't think about closure on this thing. Hmm. That's that's great, Gia. <laughs> I think I need to ink this side. I got it. I got it figured out. Okay, so then for the coin envelope part, remove seven eighths of an inch from each of the small flaps. Okay, that sounds easy. Seven eighths of an inch. Boy, that's a lot. From each of them? Is that what it said? From each of the small flaps. Okay, that's these. That's a lot of these little bitty things. Because. Wow. I don't know, man. That's a lot. Okay. I'm trying to line this up and get it straight. I'm going to line mine up. It's not exactly seven eighths, but I want to make sure it's straight. So I'm lining it up along the edge. It's just shy of seven eighths, but I know it's going to be straight because I'm lining this edge up here. And it's barely shy of seven, eight. No, it's not. It's right there. Okay, it's good. There we go. Okay. So then I can turn around and do the same thing on this side. And I know I have it completely at the same spot as I did the other one. Can you see? I hope so. I'm lining that. See, I'm lining the edge of the envelope up with the edge of my trimmer here so I know that I've got a straight cut and I know that both of these are even except I can't get them picked up but they are even with each other see they're completely even so I have even cuts all right, now I gotta get my All right. So now pull over the larger flaps on to each other and mark the top flap in the center where it meets. Fold at the point in a straight line with the trimmer cut along. I'm not going to cut it. I don't want to cut it. I don't think. Well, well I guess it would look better if I cut it. Uh 
mark here. I'm going to pause you while I mark it. Or, well, you might want to see it too. It just seems like it's taken a while here. So I'm supposed to mark. Okay, I lost my... There's so many directions here. Fold over the larger flaps onto each other and mark the top flap in the center where it meets the bottom flap. So I guess that is right here. Right here and right here. Okay. Fold at this point in a straight line. I don't know if that's straight. Okay. With the trimmer, cut along the score line from step four. Okay. Get this trimmer out a lot. I'll just get this little one out. sure that is a straight line I am going to butt that up against that and then I know that I have a straight line. Okay, now apply adhesive. Okay. And that okay that makes it look okay. I'll erase my mark there. Eraser here. Oh. There, that does a better job. Okay, so now you apply adhesive to two sided flaps right here. Okay. Oh, good golly. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't know this would be so intense. I thought I'd made this before. I guess I hadn't. Oh, well, that, they show doing it like that, but that's going to make it stick. You can't do that. That is going to make it stick to the envelope there. Can't do that. I'm just putting it right here because I don't want my envelope to shut. I mean, I guess it can because I'm not really going to use it for anything. It's just for show. And then we're going to do this one. It does, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm just using this for show. Um, and this one can check because I have a way that we're shutting the, we're going to shut that we're going to, we're going to do the wax seal there. I already planned on doing the wax seal. All right, so now I can put all these over here and try to get those back in order, but I can at least have them out of our way. Okay, now I had some stamps. This is going to go on here. Let's put the wax seal on there first. Let's make sure I've got that. Well, let's get it burning and then it can burn. We can work, work on that. Um, let's see, where's my lighter? There it is. I have got some pinks here. Three different colors of pinks. I hope that's enough for, the, for what I'm doing here. Okay, we'll set that back because I'm doing a, a deep one and I'm doing a heart. 
So I hope that's, I haven't done that one yet. So I hope that's enough. Okay, so I have some stamps that are mail. Like this one says sending love to you and a handmade, heartfelt, please deliver to. Happy mail. And these are um, postage. Like their cool little postage one. These are postage. And I've got these. I just got these from a friend and they're cool. They've got um, neat little stamps on them. So I don't know what I want to put on here. The, that will be there. So I'm thinking maybe put a stamp or something here and a, and the little um, this here. Um, so I don't know if I want to do one of the stamps in that or if I want to do one of these pretty ones. These are really pretty. Um, you really, it's a hard time to see them because I've used them so much. But that one looks like a flower. It's very pretty. That one would be very pretty on here. Um, it would just go like right across there. Then the wax seal would go there. That's kind of big. But I could stamp it kind of off. Let's let's go ahead and let's glue. It. Well, I want to I want to put some ribbon on there. No, let's not glue it on there. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Or I could just stamp a stamp on there and put this through there, and it wouldn't be quite so big. Um. But I absolutely love that one. I think I'm just going to do this one because I love it and it looks so pretty. It's such a pretty one. Okay, I'm going to get this off of here where I can really get it where I want it. And I'm going to get my dot to put away. Stamp off over here. Make sure it's stamping. Oh, I got my hand in the ink. It's not stampy very good. It's always stamped really good. I wonder if there's something under there. Let me get a bone to put under this. There we go. <laughs> Put this over right here. It's kind of squishy itself, but I got that ink at a garage sale, so I'm not surprised. It's who knows how long it's been around. <laughs> really pretty I think. Okay, I'll have to clean that off. Okay, and then um, I'll put this up. I'll put it. <laughs> Quit messing with it, Gina. Um, where's my this one? It says happy mail. And I like the one that says, um, consider this a paper hug. I think that's so cute. Oh boy, I got that. I forgot I had that going on. These, this stamp set does not stay very well on where it's supposed to. It just does not. So here we go. We got, um, 
Oh, I gotta take that off of there. I'll put it up here. Happy mail. I wonder if that would stamp in green. Ooh, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> it looks awful. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, like peas given to a baby. <laughs> It looks really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. It does not look good at all. Well, I guess I'll just stick with black. I um, where you can see, yes. Female. There we go. Oh, I'll flip that off on the floor. I don't like flipping them on the floor. They bounce and you never know where they go. Okay, and then let's do consider this a paper hug. And then we'll see if my stuff has um, melted enough. I bet it has. It's looking really pretty over there. And I want to tie some twine around this. Okay. So, let's get this over here. Ah! Slowly move this. Okay. Look how pretty it's looking. Oh, do I need to move you in some? I think you're about as close. There we go. Okay. Then I gotta remove to remember to move you out. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty melted. Alright, here we go. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I didn't get it in there right. Oh, darn. This side doesn't have anything. Oh, I'm going to want to do that over. Darn, darn, darn. Let me get some twine for that envelope. Oh, this will be pretty. Got some green. That'll work good. Let's do that while we're waiting on this thing. That is just disappointing. I don't know if I can put that right back in there. Can I do that? That is disappointing. Okay, let's put you out some. Not that way, this way. Okay. Let's go. Let's go around and round and round and round. A few times here. I need more. I need more, I need more, I need more. I don't want just one round. That should be plenty. What is that? Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna tie it now. Oops, I could go lock one less. The lady that had this, she had her green thread threaded in through with this. She had little green thread. 
started in with it. <laughs> I keep finding it. It cracks me up. <laughs> Well, I didn't waste a ton today. Sometimes I like, oh man, I really wasted a lot today. <laughs> Still a little bit too big oh, for me. I think I'm a little bit low, littler, fatter. Little things. Oh, I'll have to mess with it. First, I'm going to figure this out. Okay, let's see what it did. See, it's all off there. So, can I just put this in here? Can I do that? Can I not waste it? I mean, why couldn't I? That was a very pretty part, though. I've never done that one. Okay, so we're going to glue this on here. Are you? Yeah. Blue bottle might be wearing out or something. It's just not. I don't know. Do they wear out? Looks like it's melting really good. I want to put. A little um, knot underneath this bow. But for some reason, I'm just having some trouble with it. It's just not doing what I want it to. Come on, little bow. It's just too twisty. That's what I want you to do right there. Can you stay there? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's put some glue under there. So that you will stay there, I hope. Not very happy about me trying to direct it down. Oh, <laughs> the glue's not working. All right, well. 
we will we will set that on there and we will check this out going back and forth today my husband probably thinks I am never going to quit this video and do supper because I told him it'll be a quick video I know what I'm doing today it's taking forever looks like it could be melted I probably should have put another bead in there you know maybe it wasn't big enough I get every last bit I can out. All right, come on, do this right, Gina. I need more. I need more of it. Okay, I will let you. See. I'll come back and let you see it when I get it done. I need more beads. I'll be back. Okay, that worked. Oh, looks really pretty. So, I'm gonna put it right there. I think that looks really pretty. It's a little, you know, odd shape, and but that's okay. I was trying to clean off my thing before, it, you know, and my spoon broke. So I've got it. I tried to glue it back together, but it just cracked in half. I don't know if that's going to work. So I guess another order from Temu for me. <laughs> I try to avoid that place now. <laughs> it's too addictive. Everything I've got from there. Almost everything, but 98% or so of the thing that's been really what I expected and what I wanted so I guess I'm going back there to get me another spoon <laughs> that is a pretty this came from there I love the handle and that I wasn't sure how that would look but that is really pretty I love it I love that so here is my card I think that counts for male and heart, right? I have that right, don't I? Male and heart? Yeah, I think. I think. I wrote it down in my little tablet. I'm pretty sure it was male and heart. <laughs> it's been so long I've been working on it, I don't know. What do I do with my little tablet? It's male and heart. Yeah, male and heart. So anyway. I like that one. So that was a fun, those were fun props. So I will see you soon. You have a blessed day. Bye.